um, the MMRF has been a huge champion of, of immunotherapy um, and, and novel therapies for, for myeloma, certainly. Uh, you can continue to, to support these cutting-edge uh, preclinical and, and translational experiments. So far, uh, CAR T-cell therapy has been evaluated in the clinic in uh, very advanced myeloma. I think that really translating that to earlier stages of disease can, can both have an impact in terms of durability and safety that uh, really we haven't seen in this disease. The, the challenges in, in immunotherapy currently are, one, figuring out which patients are most likely to benefit um, and which patients uh, we're exposing to risks without the chance of benefit, and then developing our next generation therapies to uh, specifically overcome these challenges, be it from uh, the, the immunosuppressive microenvironment in bone marrow of myeloma patients, designing rational cellular and, and antibody therapies that, that target that in myeloma, um, or understanding antigen escape. Um, there, there are not so many ways that uh, myeloma has to, to escape these therapies, and, and scientists can, can certainly address therapies rationally at those. Our project in the initiative, um, at least in the first year, is aimed at understanding the patient, uh, the patient biology and how that, uh, the, the individual patient's biology affects responses to immunotherapy. Um, so we're starting with a, a cohort of patients that have had uh, really excellent responses to induction therapy and are now on maintenance therapy. Um, and we're following these patients to see which have really prolonged uh, minimal residual disease negative responses. And then we're looking to contrast those with patients where uh, the durability or the, uh, the length of time of their response is, is more limited. And we're looking at patients' marrow and uh, peripheral blood, um, as well as the microbiota, and really taking a, a holistic approach to try and, and understand through a variety of assays, looking at DNA, protein, RNA, um, both the, the myeloma cells and, and the other immune cells in that microenvironment and really take all this big data from these patients at various time points and try and put it together and, and understand what about the immune system can, can maintain these, these durable, deep responses. If we increase the understanding about what, uh, what is important to, to maintain these durable responses, what about the immune system is important to maintain these durable responses, um, absolutely that's going to inform how we rationally design our next generation immunotherapies. One of the great things about this opportunity from the MMRF is it really allows us to capitalize on the strengths of a lot of these great institutions um, and, and to really focus in on what they are leading the field on and generate this big data and, and put it all into a, a centralized pipeline where our investigators and collaborators can, can really you know, tease this apart and for the first time combine uh, combine the results from, from really divergent assays, but looking at the same patients in the same time points. And so we're, we're very hopeful to gain a better understanding of, of what's really important in the immune system that can maintain these durable responses. We're working with uh, five renowned institutions uh, in North America, and we're really going to, to take these samples um, and, again, at the the sites where, where they're really leaders in these um, types of assays. We're looking at the, uh, the DNA for mutations and translocations in the myeloma cells. We're looking to characterize all the different cells that are in the microenvironment of the marrow, um, both with uh, flow-based approaches and also um, at the single cell RNA level. Uh, we're looking at the, the microbiome of these patients, um, collected stool samples, and, and in prior work we've shown that actually certain types of bacteria uh, lead to, to better outcomes after certain therapies for, for myeloma. Um, and then we're looking at the proteins in the blood and doing uh, multiplex assays to try and understand the, the cytokines and other soluble factors that may influence the immune system.